Sri Lanka versus England is going to be a tough test and possibly, well, without doubt, England's uh, hardest game of the competition so far up against Sri Lanka in their own backyard in Colombo, which is a tr traditionally a very, very tough place to, uh, to go and visit and play well. Uh, England haven't got the greatest record against, uh, against Sri Lanka, so it'll be interesting to see which way it goes. Sri Lanka's quality in the middle order, uh, the, the innovativeness of, uh, of Dilshan at the top, and their spin bowling options, Marulif looks like he's going to be fit. Gives them the edge, um, but however, in England's defence, they've been playing fantastically well against the better sides, and they produce results out of nowhere against the big sides. The tie with India, the win against Sri Lanka, uh, sorry, the win against South Africa, um, amongst others. So there's been a bit of inconsistency in the bowling front. They've chopped and changed their bowling lineup. Jimmy Anderson's been out of form. Uh, Stuart Broad's gone home now. Michael Yardy's gone home, unfortunately. Uh, Adil Rashid's come in as has Jane Durback so a lot of options for them to choose from England's batting and bowling has been inconsistent but when it's mattered they've turned it on and I'm going to make a bold prediction through surely being patriotic but that uh, I'm going to go for an England win I think the Sri Lanka England quarter-final will be a tough one for England uh, probably one of their toughest matches it's interesting the two tough matches they've had against India and South Africa they've come out all right but uh, the Sri Lankan one playing in Colombo will not be easy the big question there is do they have the great spinner, uh, Murlitharan, working, playing, performing? And if the Sri Lankans have, uh, that will give them an edge, which I think will just take them over the line.